What's up YouTube? This is That Maker Guy and today I'm going to show you how to make this custom picture frame. Alright, so the first step here is to cut out a notch so that once we have all the pieces glued up we can actually drop the glass into place and the glass will have a place to sit. So what I do is just um, take my table saw, run the board on the bottom, and then run the board on its side so that little notch is cut out. Alright, so next step here is actually to make my first 45 degree cut. And what I'll do here, as you can see, is I just lay the glass on where it'd be on the left hand side and then mark on the right hand side so I don't actually have to do any measuring. And then you just flip the board over, both of them combined, to cut the next piece. And I actually will cut both pieces at once so that I don't have to make multiple cuts and so that both pieces are actually cut the same width so that the frame turns out square. In this shot right here I'm actually going to just glue up all the pieces and I found this great clamp at Menards. I think it was only 20 bucks and I actually recommend that everyone get one of these. I, this is the first time I've actually used one of these but it worked great. Basically you put all, you glue your pieces together and then you, that little clamp on the bottom right hand corner you tighten that up so all the pieces glue square together which is the most important feature. Make sure that everything's square. After the glue is dried I can actually just go ahead and sand everything to make sure that the stain takes correctly and everything's smooth. I never know if I should put sanding into my videos but you know I think it's worth saying that if you do a good sand job then everything else will look better in the end. So I recommend everyone take their time and make sure that everything's smooth before you put any finish coating on it. Next stop is the stain and I'm actually using what's called Special Walnut. I think it's by Minwax and I just use a old t-shirt or a rag. You rub it on, wait a few minutes and then you can just rub off the excess. And if you want it darker you just do a couple more coats. I think I ended up doing two coats here and I, and I like how it turned out. Final step here for the finish is just a spray paint clear coat. To make sure I can actually hang it straight on the wall, I just bought some picture frame hardware and it's pretty easy. You just drill a hole or a pilot hole and then you screw the actual uh, D-ring into place and you put one on each side and then in a moment here I will actually be putting a wire between there so it can hang from the wall. What you don't see here is I actually just cut a piece of 8 inch hardboard to the same size of the glass so I have a backing for the back of my frame and then I'm taking these glazer points which are like just little triangles and I take my putty knife and just kind of shove them into the side of the wooden frame. And if you put enough of these glazer points into the side of the frame it'll hold that back in just fine. Final step of this project, just run a wire from one D-ring to the other so that we can hang it up on the wall. And now we're done. So last step is just to hang it on the wall and enjoy it. Overall I think this uh, project turned out great and I actually had to build this project because I couldn't find a frame to fit my picture so it just shows that it's not that difficult to build your own frame. If you like this video hit subscribe, check out my other videos and check out my Instagram as I post pictures of all my projects on a routine basis.